Bear 1000 here. Today I'm going to be working on the old Toyota Tacoma. It's a 2003 2.4 4 cylinder. 16 valve. Um, the number one plug was put in and was put in cross threaded several years ago. Um, her dad did that and so I could never change that plug and it got it got to where it was running on three cylinders on takeoff and slow speeds you run down a highway 70 75 it ran fine so I mean it was either it was either going to break or just keep running it that way so there was a 50 50 chance it would come out or break well it broke of course so we got to pull the head off this thing so what we're going to do today I'm going to do this in several different parts guys so um, today my main goal I did not run a compression test though I know it does have low compression on one cylinder uh, my guess would be number one I didn't run a compression test because I wouldn't be able to get compression test on number one so that thing this thing was um, it wasn't smoking and there was no blow by in the engine so that's kind of telling me that I guess you know my guess is the pistons are fine and the compression rings are fine now it wasn't smoking either so that's telling me the oil rings are fine so I may not have to mess with that but if there would be a crack in the piston and the top of that piston I'll just put all new piston rings and rod bearings and rods and I'll do the bottom end too but right now we're going to focus on we're going to take the uh, I want to check the cam too it could have a cam lobe off why it was missing um, there could be a cam lobe wiped off on it so the first thing I want to do is I want to get the valve cover off let's see what we're looking at in there I'll film some of this for you and I'll speed you up through it um, it's pretty straightforward taking it apart just remember where everything goes keep all your bolts I'm gonna get a container put all my bolts in the bolts that I can't put back in um, I'll put them in the container container the ones I can put back in I'll just put them back in you know uh, so they don't get lost um, let me see what else I think that's what I'm gonna do uh, if there's anything funky like when we start getting into the head and the cam pulling the cam out I'm not positive, but I think this this motor, I think this engine has a, a, a two gear cam. And before you take it out, you gotta put a bolt in it so it holds them gears together. I'm not sure, but I, I think it does. We'll have to see, but right now I wanna get down inside there um, before we get the head off. I don't know if I'm gonna get the head off of it today or not, but we're definitely gonna get this valve cover off and see what what all is going on in there see if we can see anything um, the cam see if we can see any lobes worn off the cam because if there is then I'll put a stop well now I'll probably keep going I'll order a cam for it um, I may just do that anyway it's got over half a million miles guys so I may do that uh, I have to check if I can get that pan off the oil pan off without pulling the whole engine I may go ahead and put new new uh, rod bearings main bearings in it and I'm gonna I am definitely gonna go ahead and put a new oil pump in it was acting funny one day the oil light kept coming on but then it went out and it stayed out so I'm not sure what what was up with that but let's go ahead and get this valve cover off let's see what's going on there and then um, I'll start draining the antifreeze out and get that put away. And we'll go from there. So stick around, guys. I'll fast forward you through some of this. Like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, I'll show you what I'm going to do. We'll do it. <laughs> See what happens.
that's from the valve cover leaking. This engine is also known as the Hemi style or a Hemi head and they called it that because as you can see the spark plugs went right straight down in the top of the head just like the old Hemis used to do. The camera's getting hot, so I'm going to shut you off. I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts off. The rest of the way out of here, I'm going to put them in a container. i got to get this out of the way. Well, it kind of is enough to get this off. I'll bring, you, I'll bring you back when I pull this off for the first time. So, And uh, we'll take a gander at this by itself uh, or I mean together if you guys have any questions on anything comment below and I'll do the best I can to answer them I know I'm not showing a lot and I'm speeding through a lot but this is just kind of this is unplugging wires and stuff like that can't stress this enough take video take pictures take a hundred pictures it doesn't matter take pictures if you're unsure uh, these I did not label because there's really you know only one way that my coils can go see they're all routed one way and that's the way they are so I don't have to worry about them but if you feel comfortable by all means you know put your tag on there a piece of masking tape or something and you know put one two three four there's no shame in that I've done it before I was going to do it on this but there's only one way like three is not going to reach over well, three is not going to reach over to two or four and one and all that. It's only got enough room to go into its respective spot. So, let me get you out of the sun for a little bit. All right, guys. First time in 19 years. I got it broke loose, but I haven't had it off of here yet. So, tell you what it's sludgy yeah it is but I have seen a lot worse on cars with a lot less miles all right let me get my hands wiped off I'll bring you down here and show you what I'm looking at okay guys here's what we're looking at like I said it's a little sludgy but I have seen a lot worse. This is a half a million mile truck. Uh, I mean, it needs it. But these cam lobes, there's no lip on here. On none, none of the ones that I can feel, that is. Uh, this one feels a little funny, but there's no lip on it. Without miking them, I won't know. I'll have to mic them. I may just, you know, it's out. Well, it's going to be out. I might as well put new camshafts in it. Uh, here's that two-piece set line down the center of that. This is two-piece. So the whole, one of these holes here, a couple different holes. One of them you can put a quarter 20 bolt in that holds them together. I'm going to put new cams in. I may not have to worry about it. Uh... Wow, this engine is immaculate. There is no no play in that chain whatsoever. This is unreal. And I know it's never been a part. She's second owner of this truck, and the guy never had it apart, never had any issues. It only had about 100,000 miles on it when she got it. So, let's go in here. Let's turn the key on. I know you should have the battery unhooked. I I get it. I will. No, I won't. Let me set you up here, guys. There it is. Five hundred twenty-seven thousand seven hundred thirteen miles. All original. 
Okay, guys. I gotta get the sweat wiped out of my eyes and cool down for a minute, and I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Your spark plug tubes. Your spark plug is down inside of here, okay? And these tubes here, they have to seal onto the valve cover, all right? And this one, as you guys saw, got a bunch of oil in it. I could have sworn number one or number two had that issue, but I can't remember. I thought one of these did. <clears throat> May have been number one, but there's rubber. There's a rubber seal that go around them that are in the valve cover and I'll show you that got the valve cover up here in the shade and what these do is they're rubber see this is number one and these slip over top of them them tubes and they seal now if you can look here Right here, see that? That's got a crack. All right, that's how the oil was getting down into that plug. And this thing, <laughs> these are rubber. I should be able to push these. I should be able to move these. And as you can see, it's almost like steel. You hear that? <laughs> Sounds nothing. Here's rubber. See, that's rubber. See, it's pliable. You can move it and bend it. Can't do that on this. But it's half a million miles. This thing's never been apart. I am still amazed at how clean this engine is for 500,000 miles. Uh, she did keep the oil changed uh, up until the whole couple years ago we didn't change it on time like we should have that's probably what this is from like instead of 3,000 miles we'd run it six or seven thousand miles before we changed it but still that's I mean yeah there's sludge here don't get me wrong but nothing nothing like I I expected to see I'll show you what one looks like that's a similar engine. Look at all that sludge. That's not a half a mil million mile engine either. And you can see ours. Here, I'll bring my phone with me. And I'll show you the difference. Uh, this engine here, what I read, it was uh, 180,000, I think it said. And boom. That's amazing. So what I, what my plans were was I was going to go ahead and get new cams. I was going to go ahead and have this milled down. I've already got the valves. And I was just going to have them go ahead and lap the valves in and everything for me. So it was going to cost around 600 bucks to, to go ahead and do this, this head. I found a brand new one online. It's got the valves, valve guides, valve seals, new cams, and new head for 719 free shipping. I think that's the way we're going to go. I can't get it right now, but I can get this head off and check other things. More information on this number one plug. It was crossroad, like I said. Now, she was out with her dad outside when he was putting this plug in when he changed spark plugs she said it was dark and she was trying to hold a light for him well you can't as you can see you can't see them plugs anyway so that's not an excuse but she said i seen the fear in his face and i said what do you mean well when he dropped something a piece went down inside there i said what do you mean it went what what, what piece she said i don't know he said there's a piece down inside there hopefully it'll blow it out the exhaust I'm like, oh my God, so I don't know if this cylinder is going to be scored 
or not but like I said it wasn't it wasn't smoking um, there was no blow by so hopefully once we get this head off of here it won't be too bad I might be able to uh, uh, hone it out even with the piston just take the piston all the way down to the bottom run a hone in it uh, if I do that I'll do all four but uh, like I said it wasn't smoking it does have one cylinders low on compression but I don't think like I said there was no blow by when it was running you could take the oil cap off and nothing was you know there was no steam looking stuff coming out um, so you know that sounds like the compression rings would be good it doesn't sound like a pistons crack we'll know once we get the head clear off of it um, but and it never smoked it blows some black smoke once in a while when it started missing that was fuel but it never it's never smoked blue smoke so it didn't burn any oil um, but he told her hopefully she said when she started up after they after he changed them plugs that she did hear kind of like a funny noise like a knock for a few seconds and then it went away so hopefully whatever it is did not whatever was in there did not score the piston now this is going back let's see we've been together what six years uh so this is going back probably seven or eight years ago so i don't think it did any harmful damage but i think that's the way we're going to go i think we're going to do that i think that's what we'll do we'll just put a put a new head and everything on it i've got the gasket set and everything for it i think that's what we're going to do I think the truck deserves 700 bucks. I know it ain't pretty to look at, but the only thing up until now that we've had to do, the expensive thing was this radiator. It was a hundred and some dollars. I did a fuel pump. It wasn't very much. Um, and I did an al alternator. We put a new alternator on it. Uh, other than that, we did have to change the battery. That's maintenance brakes tires that's all maintenance i'm not you know so i to me as good as this thing ran i think it's worth putting a new head on it and i think that's what we're going to do the air conditioner still ice cold um yeah i mean like i said it run down the road 75 80 miles an hour right along with the best of them not miss a lick but you come up to a to a stoplight and you're sitting there you can kind of feel it running a little rough she couldn't tell it, but i could but as soon as you stomp down on the accelerator to take off from that light that's when it would do this duh, 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 that hesitation until you get about well when it shift into second third gear you know it was okay so it was only when you stomp down from a dead stop so i'm going to call this one here today and I think tomorrow I'll come I'll come out and we'll get the head off of it together. Um we gotta get the uh the exhaust manifold off. Cause see this is your your intake cam, this is your exhaust cam. This opens your intake valves to let fuel in. This opens your exhaust valve to let out your exhaust, your uh, burnt fuel. Uh so each cylinder so this one has has two lobes. It's got two valves for the intake, two valves for the exhaust. So, I mean, I could probably clean it up, get by cleaning it up and getting that plug out of there. That's another thing. I would still have to drill that plug out or whatever I got to do to get it out. And since it's it was cross-threaded and stripped, I'll probably have to put a Gila coil in it. So I think I think the best thing to do is just when we get the money we'll just we're just gonna put a new head on it and and it'll be done with it and then i'll clean it all up and uh, under here uh, i do have a fender for this thing i've got i've got a new fender it's an aftermarket i think it's a chinese thing uh the bumper is still wrecked but i do have a new bumper for it probably see those dents down in there 
I'm not going to worry about this. And then I think what we'll do, I'm not going to paint the whole truck. I think I'll just come from this and just uh, paint it. Of course, this whole fender is going to have to be painted, but we're not looking to restore this old girl. Look at that thing. Wow, I'm going to have to replace that antenna. Um, we're not uh, we're not looking to restore it. So we just want to keep it running. And like I said, I think we'll just go from that black line up. You know, paint the hood and the roof. And that that's we'll just call it a day on that stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I got new lights for down there, both sides. These we have already replaced. So, but that's it for today, guys. It's 81 degrees. The real field, I don't know what it is. It's up there. Well, we can check real quick here. Oops. Hit the calculator for some reason. I'm, I mean, calendar. Uh, oh, it's 82. Feels like 82. No, it feels like 95, really, honestly. I mean, I work 10 minutes and then I got sweat in my eyes. Um, supposed to get down to 55 tonight, so I don't know. We may have a fire. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, that's pretty much it for today. We got the valve cover off. So I think maybe tomorrow we'll go ahead and we yank the intake off, the exhaust manifold off. We'll pull these camshafts out of here. Got to pull the uh, this is the fuel injectors. Got to pull them out, and which I got new O-rings for them. And uh, we'll get the head off and just kind of see what the pistons look like. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Jesus. I was just staying out here with Monkey. She came out for about 20, 25 minutes. We were staying here talking. And I was explaining everything to her. Not one car went by. I just turned the camera on now. We got motorcycles and Jeeps and ish. We'll see you in the next one. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your week, and y'all stay safe. Bye-bye now, and take care.